www.absolutelyunderstandguitar.com. We've been uh, there for about nine years now. Uh, excellent program. Uh, a lot of guys on the web are going to, you know, they're going to show you what to do with your fingers, and they're going to show you how to play riffs, and they might even show you how to play songs and stuff. But what we're here to do is really to get you to understand how music works, because that's really the only way you're probably ever really going to connect with this instrument. I know a lot of you have heard uh, otherwise. You know, we've all got friends who, you know, they picked up the guitar and they can play, and, and they're telling us, well, you know, you don't really have to know what you're doing in order to play music, but I wouldn't listen to them, because um, I'll tell you some statistics you might want to know. You know, for every 75 people that start off to play a musical instrument at some point during their lives, only like one of those people actually survives what we might call the initial novelty phase and has it become something that they do for the rest of their lives. I mean, when I look back, when I was in high school, it's like all of my friends were playing guitar, but now, you know, here it is, you know, and, and I'm like the only one left. And, and how come I kept going and they didn't? Um, when I look back, I, I think the only reason is is I, I just was, I always had a natural curiosity about how music works, and I sort of demanded of myself that I find the answers, you know, uh, uh, obtuse as they might be about how this instrument works and how the language of music actually works. And that's what's allowed me to maintain my interest all these years and, and, and just get better and better as a player all the time and have more and more fun all the time. One of the big things you're going to learn in our program is that music is very much like a language. Have you ever heard anything like that before? We mean that absolutely literally, and as we go through our program, we're going to come up with countless analogies between the, the way you play music and what you do with the guitar and, and the way you use language. Um, music has an alphabet, a, as you know, just like any language has, and we, we select units out of that alphabet and we form them into patterns. So in the English language, we call those things words. In music, we call them chords and scales and, 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 and melodies. And, and things like that. And uh, what the, another analogy is, is if music is a language, then the instrument you play, like the guitar, for example, is really just very much like a typewriter, I say. It's not really the big deal. I always call it the dumb machine. This thing is the dumb machine here. It's just the tool that you use to execute the language, but it's not really where the music comes from. The music really comes from your mind. Uh, like like any language, most of what you do, you do in your head, my great quote is, you don't play the guitar with your fingers. You play it with your head. You know, your head is just telling your fingers where to go. And what you'll come to find out, many people the hard way or too late or whatever, is if you don't understand at least the basics of how the language works, you're always going to be, to one degree or another, kind of mystified by the machine here. And, and you'll find out that, that most of the people around us, are, are, whether they choose to admit it or not, are kind of mystified by the instrument that they cl uh, claim to play. And, uh, you know, through the course of our program, we're going to get you to totally understand how music works. After all, it's not all that complicated. It, it's just a simple language. Language. You know, sometimes when I tell people music is a language and learning it is kind of like, a lear uh, like learning a language, they go, oh my god, I hated Spanish class. I go, well, it's not like that either, because compared to any of the spoken languages, music is about a thousand times simpler. Um, so music is very much like learning a simple language. Many of you have gotten the mistaken impression that, it, that it's horribly complicated and difficult to understand. It's simply not. Music is simple to understand. It's just that it's so often taught really badly that everybody but he thinks it's all that complicated, but it's really not. It's just like learning a simple language. And that will help you understand how the typewriter works. Why do you move your fingers around the neck of the guitar the way you do? How do scales work? How, if you're interested in improvisation, which so many of you are, being able to solo and stuff like that, um, you know, how do how are melodies constructed? Remember, a guitar solo is just a melody. How do the notes in that solo connect with the chords underneath? You know, you can kind of mess around and kind of experiment and, and stuff like that, and, and you might do okay, but you'll, you'll come to find out in many ways, one of the main things you wind up doing that way is just wasting a lot of time. If you get with a good program and learn how the language of music actually works, then it, 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 what you do with your fingers on the fretboard of the guitar actually becomes, you know, pretty painfully obvious, really, in the way. It, it, and it will get you to understand, in, in a few short lessons, we'll get you to understand things that 
that, that I know people that have played for 20 years that don't know. I, 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 you know, I'm a private teacher. I, I have students all the time. They've been coming in, and they've been playing like 15, 20 years. They can't answer some of the most fundamental and simple questions about how the language of music works. No wonder they've been frustrated all these years. And so, uh, you know, we've got plenty of technique-oriented stuff in our program as well, but really what it's all about is, is programming your mind to understand the language of music. And, um, it, you know, that's what music theory is all about. And um, also, the other big thing we stress in our program is the whole concept of ear training. Have you ever heard of ear training? It might be the most important concept in becoming a real musician is to train your ears. Music, after all, is an audio art form. Um, the most important thing about these chords and scales and everything is what they sound like. And the process of ear training is just training your ears to memorize what these different patterns sound like so that you can recognize them when you hear them in the music around you. And, and that's how you figure out songs by ear. I know everybody wants to do, uh, do that, you know, to be able to just listen to a song and learn how to play it. Well, I can do that. Heck, I can do that really quick. I can do that with... with you know, very complicated music because I've trained ears. I, I've worked uh, very hard on my ears. I've had some great ear training coaches um, over the years, and, uh, and they've really gotten me straightened out. Now, one thing to realize is, uh, it, you know, we show you how to do ear training all through our program. Um, Another thing uh, that you want to realize is uh, you have to have a reasonable knowledge of how music works. You have to have a reasonable knowledge of music theory in order to be able to do any meaningful ear training. Because, you know, how are you going to learn to recognize a 13 chord by ear if you don't even know what it is, you know? So a little bit of music theory goes a long way, and then we'll show you how to uh, train your ears, and, and away you go. You know, you'll be able to do anything with music you want, and uh, you'll shave years off of your uh, uh, ability, uh, or, or shave years off the time it's going to take you to become the player that you want to uh, be. And, and for many people, it's the, the difference between whether they ever really connect to the instrument or whether they just flop around for a few years in high school and college and then put the guitar away and it's pretty much over. And the other good news is it's a lot of fun, too. We're, you know, our, our program is, is a, a lot of fun and, and you're going to enjoy yourself and you're going to benefit from the information that you get. And... Um, uh, it's a great thing. So um, I hope you'll uh, come and join us with uh, Absolutely Understand Guitar. You'll notice we have uh, lots of free videos up here on YouTube. And you can also check out our bigger program at uh, www.absolutelyunderstandguitar.com. Okay, well, uh, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Okay, bye-bye.